Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on 0 by 1 knapsack problem using FIFO branch and bound. FIFO branch and bound means first in, first out branch and bound. Okay, next. So suppose we are taking a example problem. How to solve that example problem? And what is the procedure we have to follow for solving this FIFO branch and bound knapsack problem instance? Okay. The given problem is draw the state space tree for the 0 by 1 knapsack problem instance using FIFO branch and bound when n is equal to 5, p1 to p5 is equal to 10, 15, 6, 8, 4 and w1 to w5 are 4, 6, 3, 4, 2 and the capacity of the knapsack m is equal to 12. Here the number of objects is equal to 5. The profits of 5 objects is equal to 10, 15, 6, 8, 4. The weights of 5 objects are 4, 6, 3, 4, 2 and the capacity of the knapsack is equal to m is equal to 12. Okay, how to solve the uh, given problem? For that solving the given problem, which procedure we have to follow? First, I am telling the procedure. Once the procedure is uh, completed, then we go for solve this problem. Okay, first of all, a knapsack problem is a maximization problem. This uh, knapsack problem is already discussed in uh, greedy method and dynamic programming. So in that both techniques, knapsack in that knapsack problem, we have to achieve the maximum profit by placing the maximum profitable objects while considering the capacity of the knapsack. Okay, our main goal is to achieve the maximum profit. Hence, we can say that knapsack problem is a maximization problem. But knapsack problem in a branch and bound technique is a minimization problem. Okay. So, but how to convert this maximization problem into minimization problem? By placing negative sign before each and every profit, then the maximization problem is converted into minimization problem. Okay. Once we are solving the given problem, we are get we are achieving the minimum profit. So then we have to place positive sign in place of negative sign. Then we are getting the maximum profit. Then it becomes the maximization problem from minimization problem okay next uh, for that one so p1 to p5 is equal to we have to place negative sign before 10 we have to place negative sign before 15 we have to place negative sign before 6 we have to place negative sign before 8 we have to place negative sign before 4 we have to place negative sign okay next so after placing a negative sign before each and every profit, this maximization problem is converted into minimization problem. First solve that given problem. So then the max minimization, minimum profit is converted into maximum profit by placing the positive sign before the profit. Okay, next one. Next one. Uh, the problem can be solved by constructing the state space tree. Okay. In that state space tree, so there are uh, uh, some types of nodes are there. So first one is a live node. Second one is E node. Third one is dead node. Okay. For each and every node, we have to calculate uh, two bound values. One is a C cap value and another one is U cap value. C cap is nothing but lower bound. U cap is nothing but upper bound. For each and every node, 
we have to calculate the c cap value and u cap value next one uh, while calculating the lower bound c cap value first here we are not allowing the fractions of the objects sorry while calculating the lower bound c cap value we are allowing the fractions of the objects fractions of the objects means we may accept the complete object we may accept the half of the object we may accept the two third of the object we may accept the one third of the object so these are nothing but fractions of the objects so fraction of the objects is also considered uh, including the complete object is placed into the knapsack okay so either complete object is placed into the knapsack or fractions of the objects are also uh, placed into the knapsack while calculating the lower bound value c cap next one upper bound while calculating the upper bound value we may not allow the fractions okay that is one third of the object is not placed into the knapsack one by two of the uh, object is not placed into the knapsack two third of the object is not placed into the knapsack either complete object is placed into the knapsack or a complete object is not placed into the knapsack while calculating the upper bound value okay next the state space tree starts with a, a root node the root node is nothing but node 1 for that node we have to calculate the upper bound value and the lower bound value that are uh, u cap and c cap okay node 1 upper bound value that is u cap of 1 can be set as global upper bound value that is u cap node 1's upper bound value can be set as global upper bound value global upper bound value can be denoted by u cap okay which node which nodes upper bound value can be taken as global upper bound value node 1 that is root node 1's upper bound value can be set as global upper bound value okay next how to kill that node in the state space tree and how to extend the node in the state space tree for a node x suppose one node is there in a particular level so that node can be treated as capital x okay if the node for that node we have to calculate the upper bound value and lower bound value if the node lower bound value that is c cap of x is greater than the global upper bound value so that is u cap then we have to kill that node otherwise we have to extend that node okay for a node x if the node lower bound value c cap of x is greater than the global upper bound value that is u cap then we have to kill that node otherwise we have to extend that node next one how to update the global upper bound value suppose we are taking a node in a particular level for that node we have to calculate the upper bound value and lower bound value if the node upper bound value u cap of x is the less than the global upper bound value so if this condition is true then we have to update the upper global upper bound value okay while constructing the state space tree okay the left subtree is always denotes x sub x i is equal to 1. Right subtree always denotes x sub x i is equal to 0. Okay. Here, this node can be divided into two branches. Okay. That is x1 branch and x2 branch. So, this is a left branch and this is a right branch. On the left branch, x sub x i is equal to 1. That means ith object is considered. Suppose ith object is considered 
that means x s of x i is equal to 1. Right branch is nothing but x s of x i is equal to 0. That means ith object is not considered. Okay. So, always left branches is denoted by x s of x i is equal to 1. Right branches is denoted by x s of x i is equal to 0. Next. How can you say that for a particular node, that solution is infeasible solution? Okay, suppose we can take a node x at a particular level. Okay, so from root node to that node, okay, what are the values of x suffix i are there? Sum of that object weights is greater than the capacity of the knapsack. That means, so sigma i is equal to 1 to n w i x i is greater than capacity of the knapsack. Okay. So, sum of the weights of the objects that we are considered is greater than the capacity of the knapsack. So, then at that node x, the solution becomes the infeasible solution. Okay, if the node if, if the node gets infeasible solution, we have to kill that node. Okay, so this is the procedure we have to follow for solving the given uh, zero by one knapsack problem using FIFO branch and bump. Next, we go for. Example problem. 